I didn't read any fiction until I was, until I came to America when I was eight, because we didn't have books. You know, also fiction was viewed as perverted. Uh, I know that a cousin of mine was getting a master's in English to be an English teacher, and for that she had to read a novel. And everybody was scandalized by the fact that she was reading a novel. And they were scandalized both at the idea of somebody going into a private space, in, into their own mind, versus a place that could be observed. And they were scandalized because they assumed that uh, anything that was inside a book had to be hidden, that there was something, you know, if it, if it was an okay thing, why did it have to be put inside a book? So it was... Um, so nobody in my family read. I hadn't been to, I'd been to two libraries before then. One just sold, new, one just had newspapers. It was, um, and it was where you went and looked at employment ads. And then the other was um, a library that's on the second floor of a temple. And there you, you had to buy a membership. And mostly what you would get were uh, comic books to read, maybe newspapers, and you could check out one book, I think. So when I came to America, I was taken to the library by an, un by an uncle of mine, I believe. And I found it sort of amazing that you could take out all these books. And mostly what I, I found, you know, my English was okay, but I, since I was not very well read, since I had not read much, uh, it mostly the books were beyond me. And so I began reading uh, picture books. I remember I wrote a book report on Danny and the Dinosaur, and the question that one of the questions asked was, what's the theme of it? And I wrote, uh, it's fun to ride a dinosaur. So then I began reading more, and I I became very, very quiet in America. I found myself overwhelmed, and I began reading a lot, uh, obsessively, uh, and reading all sorts of things, sort of. I remember reading The Old Man and the Sea, and I believe I was eight years old then, and I remember reading Robinson Crusoe and finding that, really loving that book, loving that book. Just the idea of somebody being away from people. I found the world too much. Uh, and that self-containedness appealed to me. Uh, Friday appearing wasn't that great a thing for me. You know, I wanted to be alone. I, I found myself overwhelmed. And I used to read a lot of fairy tales. And there was a comfort in the structure of all of these things. Like the A would happen and then B would happen and then you would be okay. I like the fact that the world was simpler. And I used to watch a lot of TV while reading, so I would sit with a book in my lap and I would, I would look at the TV and whenever the TV, um, whenever the commercials came on, I would look down at the book. I would walk to the school reading a book. Uh, yes, I would walk read. I, I think I was just having a difficult time. I was suffering. And that sort of engagement with books went on and on and on. Uh, but books, the idea of books being to erase myself, you know, you know, just to vanish, you know, not, not as a journey, not as a learning thing, but to erase myself. 